Hello everyone, welcome to the Stock Trading Tutor channel. If you'd like to create a free DMAT account with Alice Blue, click the link in the description and fill out your details. You'll also get intraday recommendation calls and you can learn robo trading software for free. Now let's look at Force Index. Now what is Force Index? This is a technical indicator that measures the amount of power used to move the price of an asset. The Force Index uses price and volume to determine the amount of strength behind a price move. The Force Index is used for trend and breakout confirmation as well as spotting potential turning points by looking for divergences. Let's look at some of the characteristics for this index. So a rising force index above zero helps confirm the rising prices. A falling force index below zero helps confirm the falling prices. A breakout or a spike in the force index helps confirm a breakout in the price. If the force index is making lower swing highs while the price is making higher swing highs, this is a bearish divergence and warns that the price may soon decline. If the force index is making higher swing lows while the price is making lower swing lows, this is a bullish divergence and warns that the price may soon head higher. The force index is typically 13 periods, but this can be adjusted based on preference. The more periods used, the smoother the movements of the index, typically referred by longer term traders. So here is the formula for the force index. So we need the current closing price minus the previous closing price multiplied by the volume. And let's look at the force index for 13 periods. So it, that will be 13 period exponential moving average of the force index. So first you'll have to compile the most recent closing price, then the previous period's closing price and the volume for the most recent period. Then calculate the one period force index using this data then calculate the exponential moving average using multiple one period force index calculations. For example, to calculate a force index for 20 periods, you will require at least 20 force index of one period calculations. Continually repeat the steps after each period ends. So let's look at the trend identification using the force index. So the force index oscillates above and below zero. And as you can see in this image here, we have the chart here and this is the indicator and this here is the zero line. This green here indicates bearish moves and this is bullish moves. So when it is above zero, the price is considered to be an uptrend and this is a positive force index. So here we have this blue portion here is the positive force index here. And this green portion here is the negative force index and it's considered to be in a downward trend. So when the force index is below zero, the price is considered to be in a downtrend. And if the price and the index diverge, then it may be an indication that the change in trend may be forthcoming. So here it is neutral because it's basically almost range bound here in this area. And as we can see, this indicates a bullish price move. This is a bearish price move. As we can see, it's being re reflected in the candlestick chart. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos on stock market and trading, please subscribe to this channel. If you'd like to create a free DMAT account with Alice Blue, click the link in the description and fill out your details. You'll also get intraday recommendation calls and you can learn robo trading software for free.